Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Kick your feet up as I give a non-spoiler review of the movie Bloodshot, directed by David S.F. Wilson, starring Vin Diesel, Asa Gonzalez, Sam Hune, Guy Pearce, and Lamorne Morris. I'll help you understand the movie from a cinematic perspective, as well as what to expect before enjoying this film. That's all coming up next. It's Bunny. So when I saw the preview for this movie a couple of weeks back, I thought to myself, you know what, I'll go ahead and check it out. Let me do my research and I'll go to the movies. I'll even see it with the feature of D-Box seating. But of course, with this COVID-19 situation, everybody had a change of plans. And unfortunately, production and a lot of companies had to think of how can we get our profit back some way somehow so a lot of movies are being sold via apple tv or outlets such as netflix and so much more along with that of course in typical bunny fashion some trailers i don't hop and jump to and say ah let me see this movie i always like to do research about who the writers are the screenplay writers the producers the directors because that gives me an idea of what i can expect some type of idea because we all know some trailers don't do movies justice now, for those of you that don't know, this movie's adaptation is from the comic book Bloodshot. The character Bloodshot is a former soldier with powers of regeneration. He has the technology of metamorphing and it's made possible by nanites that are injected into his blood. After escaping from his master at Project Rising Spirit, Bloodshot seeks to discover his true identity and other purposes besides killing. Now, Bloodshot is neither DC or Marvel. It's a series from Valiant Comics. It's a publisher that's been around in various forms since the late 1980s and offers readers a superhero comic universe, but it's unlike more of the popular competitors such as DC and Marvel. Now, let's talk about the director. When I found out who the director was, I thought, wow, now I really need to see it. And before this COVID-19 hit, I said, I'm going to see it regardless, and I'm going to give this gentleman a shot. He is the visual effect directors when it came to a lot of the Star Wars video games. Star Wars The Old Republic, Star Wars Knights of the Fallen Empire, Knights of Eternal Throne. So I thought, wow, even though it's not, it's not his directorial debut, this is taking up his creativity to another notch. While watching this movie, I kept saying to myself, wow, since this movie only has a budget of $45 million, you could have fooled me because a lot of the CGI and the direction of this movie could compete with a lot of the Marvel films that we've been seeing. So it was really impressive on Dave's part to really be involved with this movie. And it's really, really, really bad and kind of like this, oh man, perspective that this COVID-19 situation hit because I really think this was his moment to shine when it comes from a visual effects perspective to director. Now let's talk about the writing and the screenplay aspect of this. Eric Hesser is no rookie when it comes to creative, eclectic, thinking outside of the box writing. He wrote Bird Box, which a lot of people may think is a copy and paste of um, the movie A Quiet Place, but you got to think about the time frame of how long it takes writing to get to film. So it's not exactly a copycat, but it's along the same ideas. A lot of people have the same ideas and it's kind of like their own way in interpreting the story. But A Quiet Place, of course, got first dibs and got to the audience first. But he's with Bird Box and the writing behind the movie Arrival, which a lot of people gave kudos to. So understanding the writing, the screenplay, and the direction will help you understand Bloodshot and giving this movie a chance. Wearing two hats in this movie, we have actor Vin Diesel and producer Asa Gonzalez as KT. 
Guy Pierce as Dr. Harding, Sam Hume, who plays Jimmy Dalton. Now, one thing about Sam is he has been hearing some whispers about playing the next 007, and I can definitely see that. And last but not least, Lamorne Morris. This gentleman plays Wilford Wiggins in this film. Let me take a moment to give huge kudos and a big step with this film. Now, I know I didn't do that with the other actors because they have a nice resume and lots of accolades to go along with their movies and with their skills, okay? But Lamorne here is known for his comedic side bringing to film, his writer generosity when it comes to skits and some things that you may see on television. One thing that really impressed me with Lamorne, you could tell that he really, really stepped it up and spoke with a dialect coach. He brought a new British dialect to this film. You really forget it's him and he morphs into this character, which was very, very, very good. You start to say to yourself, wow, you can tell that he said to someone and his team, I really want to step it up. Let's try a different look. Let me learn how to hold my body in such a way. Let me learn the different terminologies when it comes to technology, things that I may need to know, because you can tell that sometimes when Comedians, actors, anything that's out of their element, they are going to have to take that time to learn. A good example of someone playing a doctor. To give me the idea and convincing me that you're a doctor, you really have to be comfortable with the terminologies. You really can't stumble over a lot of a, a lot of genetic and scientific words because you want the audience to feel as if you've been studying medi medicine for years and you know what you're talking about. So you want a lot of these terminologies to just roll off of your tongue. And that is what we saw in this film standing round of applause to this gentleman. I look forward to more things from this comedian now, which I see stepping it way up as an actor. This is going to open a lot of casting director's eyes and saying he can really challenge himself and he can really mold into another character. And that is what he did. Great job. Wonderful job, Lamorne. I wish I was seeing you face to face in an interview to tell you what a major step up. Not saying that he hasn't done this in other films. With, with this, it was something different. Adding that accent and it being done well. Not going in and out of the dialect. Not one time did I hear that he slipped out even once. Wonderful job, amazing step up in the acting world. Kudos to you. I really don't understand, and I'm trying to understand, how this movie got such terrible low reviews from critics. I don't get it. Um, looking at the aspect of who the writers are, this being on a $45 million budget and executed well. I've seen movies that have had over a hundred million dollars in the budget and you're like wow the cgi is pretty terrible with this movie it was very very good and seeing that the time that's allowed it allowed for this movie was executed well in my perspective and i give this movie um believe it or not a seven out of a seven point five out of ten going into an eight it wasn't terrible um you could tell that with this film there could have been a little bit more tweaks when it came to certain spaces of the movie and maybe adding in a little bit more of monologue um, uh, verbiage between certain characters. But when it comes to the fluidity of the movie, I felt like they didn't waste any time. They got right to it. And maybe from the perspective of somebody who is familiar with the Bloodshot comic books, I thought that the hand combat and that choreography was amazing. A lot of the fighting scenes Really don't understand why this movie got such low reviews. I really, really don't. Please check it out. I honestly think that 
Apple TV did a wonderful job in making this 19.99 because think about it. I don't have a family, but I'm thinking if I had a family, I'm paying for myself, my spouse, my children, and that adds up. But it's a pretty good deal seeing that you're paying 19.99 for maybe your whole household to watch and you have the option to watch it over and over again. I say check this out, you guys. It's worth the 19.99 to me. Um let me know what you think. Um, it's a lot better than a lot of other movies that have, have had higher budgets and the fact that they have a cast that is admirable and has a good resume behind it, not res not actors that we've never heard of. We've heard of a lot of these actors and actresses and I thought they did an amazing job. Check it out. Let me know what you think and let me know your non-spoiler <laughs> comments below. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any post and also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name official bun underscore e. Check out my playlist to look at other movie reviews and also television show reviews and recaps. Until next time, stay safe out there. Remember to wash your hands, stay calm, stay aware of your surroundings and what you're doing and I'm pretty sure we can get through this COVID-19 matter soon. Until next time, love you. Bye!